Hi, welcome to this video brought to you by Maths from Scratch. This is column method multiplying and this is level one. Now, this is the first video in our new playlist on how to do column method multiplication. If you're new to the Maths from Scratch methodology, what we do is we start at level one and then we watch every single level all the way through to the end of the playlist and you will be able to use the column method for multiplication by the end. And it's so easy and you can teach yourself just by watching them through, try the practice questions, look at the answers and then you can make progress that way. Now there is a baseline check that we need to do to make sure that we can use the column method for multiplication and to make it easy for you as possible and that is I would suggest that you get really good at your times tables first before trying to do the column method multiplication. Um, you can do it with easy times tables but this playlist are going to do it with a mixture of hard times table questions and easy ones. So the one thing that I would say is if you want to make total progress with this and find it easy learn your times tables off by heart. That is the key thing to make this method work and to make this method really powerful, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do in this level one, we're all just gonna look, up, look at how to set up this method and how to start writing it down, okay? So let's have a look at question one then. So we've got two single digit numbers that we need to multiply together. And knowing what we know about place value, these two numbers are in the units column. So exactly like column method for multiplication, we need to kind of think in terms of hundreds, tens, and units in terms of those columns. And I would suggest that if you're new to column method full stop, um, I would watch the column method for addition playlist first so you get how um, column methods work in general. So two times three, two single digit numbers and they're both in the units column. So let's create a units column. So we've got two and a three and we write them underneath each other, put a little multiplication sign, draw some answer line or answer space underneath. Then all we're gonna do is just multiply up and down that column. So we can either think of it three times two, so we can multiply up. I tend to multiply up, it's just the way I do it. Three lots of two, and that gives me six, okay? Even though in the question it says two times three, this is a property of multiplication, and that it doesn't matter in which order you do it, similar to addition. So you can think of it as two times three, or you can think of it as three times two. And when I'm visualizing the column method, I'm visualizing at the bottom and times it up. So three times two is six. Let's have a look at question two. So now we've got one times zero. Now again, I know the answer is going to be nothing, but we're just getting used to setting up the column method for multiplication. So one times zero, okay? So we write them one on top of the other, answer line. And so one lot of nothing is going to be nothing, okay? Or nothing times one, zero times one gives me zero. Let's have a look at question number two. So four times two. So line them up in terms of place value, units on top of units. And there's only two units in that question. Draw the two lines then answer the question. Four lots of two or two lots of four. Remember my little preferred method is that to start at the bottom and times up. Doesn't matter, that's just my way of doing it. Two times four gives me eight. Question four then. So four lots of three. So four times three. Do the multiplying, draw your line underneath, okay? And then answer this one, three lots of four. Now this gives me an answer of 12, and 12 is a two digit number, but we've only got space to write one. But because there's no more columns to actually multiply, we've actually finished our answer, and so we can then progress into the tens column there. So that gives me an answer of 12. Slightly, slightly making me a bit upset because that's not in green, but I'm sure I'll get over it. Right, five times nine, so, Columns again, five times nine, multiplication sign, answer line, select green, happy days. So nine times five, for you know from your five times table, it's 45. It's a two digit number, so make sure that we just move into the tens column there. And then the last one, seven times nine. Okay, seven times nine. You don't have to put a line through the seven if you don't want. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends what I feel like. Then seven times nine is 63. Again, we can then progress into the tenths column because it's a, a two digit number and we, fit, we actually finished our calculation. And so that's, that's how you do level one for the column method multiplication, getting used to just writing them as numbers on top of one another into columns there. Um, so hopefully that's made a bit of sense. These are your practice questions. Have a go at those eight. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in level two. If you have had a go at those, you can check the answers on the accompanying answer walkthrough video and the link will be in the description. Please like, subs uh, subscribe, share or share scribe or whatever word I was going to say next. Do all of those things and I'll see you in level two. Thank you very much.